and welcome to my presentation on Is Retention Being Held Back Positive for Students? In my presentation, I will be reading the pros and cons, the definition, and my personal perspective. Thank you, and let's begin. Grade Retention Definition Grade retention is a strategy for the remediation of learning or developmental delays. Students cannot keep up with their peers or do not meet a predefined level, repeat the same grade once again, and by doing so, have an extra year to get at the level that is needed to successfully manage the next grade. The idea of retaining a student has been a debate for decades. What benefits the student more from repeating a grade or from moving ahead with their same age peers? The argument for retention is that students who have not met grade level criteria will fall further behind as they move through the grades. On my next slides, I will be reading the reason to retain a student and the pros and cons. There are several reasons why a teacher retains a student. The biggest reason is typically the developmental, the development level of a child. Students enter school at around the same chronological age, but with varying developmental levels. Here are some pros of repeating a grade. Students who struggle academically can benefit repeating a year. Students who have missed a lot of school due to illness or a move may benefit from repeating a grade. Students who are developmentally immature emotionally can benefit repeating a grade and may reduce the stress of keeping up with other students. And here are some cons of repeating a grade. Students who have behavior issues to their to their classroom environment don't benefit from staying in the same class another year. And students who are already the eldest in their grade will be almost two years older than the rest of the students. My personal perspective on students being held back is positive. As I was making my pros and cons chart, I found more pros than cons for students to repeat a grade. In my personal experience, my daughter was held back in kindergarten. It helped her with reading and grammar that she didn't know her first year with kindergarten. Most experts support the idea that parents should be involved in the decision to promote or retain their child and should make their concerns known to the teacher and school. As a future teacher, I completely agree at the idea that parents should be involved in what benefits their son and daughter. And if retention is the answer, we will make sure that it will benefit their educational future. And we always have to, also as future teachers, we always have to make sure that the student knows, student know that they are, they are there, but that if another year helps them get there better, faster, that for their upcoming year, it's not going to be as difficult for them. I think as teachers, we need to always keep it positive that retaining is not always bad, that retaining is something um, that will benefit them in their future, you know, future in middle school, school future in high school, future in college. Uh, sometimes as teacher, we may forget to, you know, be positive about retaining or bad grades, but it's always good to let the student know that they are doing their best. Thank you.